Hi ladies! How are you guys doing today? It's a nice day here in Oregon. I hope you're having beautiful weather wherever you are. I am trying to film at a different angle today so that I can give you guys a better look at what I'm reading and what I'm doing and I'm hoping it's going to work. I'm still working on getting the really really good equipment so I can all of my videos will be much better quality but until then I gotta work with this all right I'm scooting around so that I can get right where you guys it there I am hello 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 all right get my microphone out of the way I got a couple of things that I'm going to go over with you today one is my morning devotion and I had someone uh, leave in the comments and I can't remember which comment it was for which video but she um, is kind of new to the faith and she was wanting to know what exactly the fear of the Lord meant why were we supposed to fear the Lord so you know popular answer there is to reverence and to honor um, and respect those kinds of things and uh, here comes Arabella no 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 scoot on through come on girly keep going keep going keep going thank you all right she's gone okay <laughs> so I decided today um, my scripture writing today is from Psalm 34 8 and 10 and I'm going to read that really quickly then I'm going to elaborate on the the meaning of fear of the Lord um, all right, Psalm 34, verses 8 through 10 say, Taste and see that the Lord is good. How happy is the man who takes refuge in him. You who are his, you who are his holy ones, fear Yahweh. For those who fear him lack nothing. Young lions lack food and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. So in this verse, we have the word fear used twice. Fear Yahweh and fear Him. So I wanted to get a really good definition to throw out there. And what my research led me to was basically that, you know, we have always, like I said, we've always um, told people that to fear the Lord means to honor Him, to reverence Him, to be in awe of Him. And it absolutely does. It means all those things. But it also means... To fear him cause in the original Greek and Hebrew that's exactly what it was meant to say to fear him be afraid of him a sinful world should be very afraid of an angry God he is um, it's you know he's to be feared I mean when you're a sinner falling into the hands of, of God without repentance is going to be a horrible terrifying thing this is what i wrote down i said the fear of the lord we cannot fully understand what christ did for us until we understand what it would mean to be left in the hand of god as a sinner without a savior god's nature is one of power i have people driving by okay god's nature is one of power and justice so a holy God must judge a sinful person according to their sin. Christ not only saved us, he reconciled us to a loving relationship with our Heavenly Father. So it's, I think it's really important to understand exactly what that word means and, and its you know, completeness. Yes, honor God, be in awe of God, um, obey Him, all of those things. But also have a, you know, our parents probably called it a healthy fear of them. We needed to have a healthy fear of our parents. Yes, we love them and we're to honor and respect them, but we would also know that we better not get in trouble. We better do what they say. Otherwise, there was going to be scary consequences. That's pretty much the same thing here. We need to fear God and understand that He is the all-powerful. He created everything everything is belongs to him everything he can do what he wants to with but what it comes down to is he's holy and he's righteous and he expects us to be holy and righteous too but we can't do that without a savior we can't live that kind of life without the spirit of christ dwelling in us so number one christ 
Jesus died for us to save us from those sins. He died for us to take the punishment and the penalty of the sins that we have committed and are going to commit for that matter upon himself so that we would not have to endure that judgment ourselves. That's the cat again. Oh, she's being bad. Okay. And at the same time, when he did that, he also reconciled us to God. He brought us out of a relationship of fear into a relationship of love. And he became our father and, and just that strong bond and relationship that we have. I'm going to kill my cat. Is because Christ died so that we could have it. So that's basically what it comes down to. Fear the Lord by honoring, respecting, and obeying Him because we, if we don't obey Him, bad, bad consequences. And all of these people running around these days saying that they're doing God's will when it's something absolutely hideous, that's it's going to be a bad day for them when they do fall into the hand of that angry God. God's not angry just to be angry. God's anger is a righteous anger. It's not like us. It's not like he flies off the handle and just, you know, starts hitting things and throwing stuff. That's not God's anger. God's anger is that a people who continuously rebel against him. It's, sim it's just, it's that simple. When you go before a judge, um, he has to judge you according to the law, according to the, you know, laws you've broken, and then he has to judge you and, you know, you have to face the penalty for that law that's broken. The same thing is God. He, we, people who do not receive Christ as Savior will have to one day stand before Him and face the penalty of their actions. But luckily, we do have a Savior. And Christ, He loves us and adores us. And so does our Father in Heaven. We are His people. We belong to Him. And He's going to love and he is going to protect us. That's the rest of that verse. It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. How happy is the man who takes refuge in him. You who are his holy ones, fear Yahweh. For those who fear him lack nothing. That means having a wonderful understanding of who he is and living accordingly. Young lions lack food and go hungry. But those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. We are his beloved and he is going to see us through each and every trial, heartache, hurt, everything. He's going to see us through it all as long as we continue to lean on him. Just picture yourself as a little kid holding onto your daddy's hand when you might be scared of what you're walking through. You hold tightly to your daddy's hand. That's what we do with Jesus. That's what God's there for. He wants us to grab hold of his hand and walk this life. So anyway, I hope that answers that question. Because, you know, that is a question that a lot of people have. Because it's like, okay, I'm supposed to love God because he loves me. But I'm supposed to fear him too. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm confused. Okay, so. If you have any more questions, let's go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. I'm trying to make sure I've got everything here. And now I'm going to do a haul for you guys. Um, shoot, dirty. Went to uh, Walmart yesterday. Hit up the back to school section because that's my favorite thing. I love it so much. It is so much fun. And specifically looking for as much of the pen and gear line as I could find. I've already done a couple of videos on the pen and gear. And I'm telling you guys, it's just been they they have so much good stuff hold on a second i'm gonna grab one more thing all right they just have so much good stuff at a, an amazing price and you know i've seen walmart do lines and then do away with them and everything and i'm really really hoping that this is something that they grow that they continue and that they grow because for us planner people uh, Bible journaling people they have got some awesome stuff so let me show you what I got yesterday starting off with my favorite pens these are the paper joy paper made ink joy and these are not the retractable ones this is one of the caps um, but the thing about it is they're cheaper than the retractable 
same pen, just a different way of using them. But these are my favorite. And I'm thinking these were like six something, you know, and they're usually very expensive, but they were like six dollars and something. But even with that, I showed you guys a review of these that I got the other day. And these are the retractable ones. This is the Pen Plus Gear line. You get 30 pins in here. And see, they're very similar to the Ink Joys. Very similar. Um, I don't think they dry as quick and they do smear more than the Ink Joys do. But if you let them give it time to dry, that you know, takes care of itself. But anyway. These were, like I said, I think maybe a little less than six stars because they did have them on a special price for back to school. But these 30 were under $10. So you decide which do you need the most. Tons and tons or six? <laughs> I went ahead and got these because, I mean, these are my favorite pens. So, but <laughs> that was a much better deal right there. And then also, some of this I, I got before, but some of this I got yesterday. I got this one before, and then I found these yesterday. This is their washi tape. Uh, you get five good size rolls. See, I've already been using a lot of that, though. That shows you kind of how um, much you get. But you do, you get five good size rolls of this. Um, and it's like $1.88 for each, each thing. So, again, try to get that at Michael's for that price. You won't do it. And they're making this to go along with their sticker line. So, that's really cool. And then, of course, I've already gotten this one. I've got this the other day, and I got the little pen that one of my viewers sent me. She sent me several of these, and they just go perfect with these little notebooks. This is a traveler's notebook that's... um. A little smaller than a standard size. But look what it comes with. It comes with both of these. Each of these, well, all together, it's like 280 pages, I think. So you get a dot grid in this one. And look how pretty that is. And then you get a weekly with this one. And what I'm doing with my dot grid, so my is going in with my little ruler and making my very own little monthly section. That's what I'm doing with my dot grid and then decorating it. So this will be my monthly and this will be the weekly that goes along with that. Along with, and you'll see that you have, you do even have a secretarial pocket with three cute little slots right there. And then the back also has one of these. So you could add a little something extra in that. And then also, I've showed you this one already too, but we'll just show it to you again just so you can see the whole line that I got. This one is more of a B sit size. It's a little bit bigger. Again, the little pen goes perfect with it that my one of my viewers sent to me. And I've already made a lot of stuff for this one. So I've already got this decorated. I made little tabs there and I put that in because it's pretty and it matches the, I made these. I uh, got that idea from the um, YouTube channel for uh, Scraptastic. She is also doing a lot of pen and gear stuff and. And so she made a dashboard. So all it is, laminate them and then just slide them through the little slots there. Made this one too. And then this is the actual book that came with it. And so it's a weekly also. Uh, so it does it like that. So you got the week of, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But it doesn't have a monthly view. There is one that has a monthly in it, but I haven't been to find it yet. So I just went in and made my own monthlies again. These I actually uh, designed out and printed them though. And then what I did is I just put them in there with, whoopsie, with washi tape, just right in there like that. And so I have my monthly to go along with my weekly. And this one also has the secretarial pocket, three slip pockets, and then that one in the back. And I have this one in here. This one I got from Michaels for $2, but it, to continue show you what a great deal the just this is okay you get these two really thick notebooks with it and then this and both of these travelers notebooks are under seven dollars with the inserts included 
And then if you're lucky enough to find extra inserts, which I did for both of these, again, they're the very thick ones. I think, again, it's like 260 for each one. This is a uh, exercise one, which I will quickly convert to a, oops, I'm making you shake, to a non-exercise one. <laughs> <laughs> and just use it as a weekly calendar when I need it. And then this one is another grid paper. I'm looking for, they have one and I haven't been able to find it. And I kind of got a feeling I won't be able to find it. Because most of this stuff you can't order off their website. They say pick up in store. Problem is the stores don't have a lot of it. But they do have, oopsies, I'm dropping stuff. One of these in this. And I want that so bad because I think that... It's pretty. That is the only um, design I've seen up on them. And I saw it on their website. But these come that I've been able to find come in the pink, uh, black, and gray. And then I found with this lavender one, which is my favorite. Um, they also come in a dark tealish navy and a, a cream kind of color. But of course me, I like the girly, girly, girly covers. But yeah, these are an excellent deal. These were under $4. They were like $3.42 or something like that. So, you know, come on. That is just awesome. And then they have a bunch of stuff that's like $0.88 cent to a dollar, that kind of thing. So I got this. This was $0.88, cents, I think. And you can snap this into a happy planner haven't even opened it yet and then you it's just four things of sticky notes that are really really pretty i love that floral design that is so pretty so yeah you can smack this in your happy planner or just you know make yourself a dashboard like i did for your little tin and use them on that 88 cents then i also got these for 88 cents aren't they pretty just little notepads lined one and it's got your uh, it's got 50 sheets and this has a floral design on it that's really pretty that's in some of their sticker books and then they also have a sticker book to match this one with the um the pretty gold foil there i love that and you see i got three i got two of the same one because this one is going in with my giveaway i'm going to give this to the person who wins the a5 planner that i'm giving away after i get a thousand subs that's gonna go in the giveaway. It has a magnet on the back, so you can stick it on the fridge, but I, I would not personally use that. I'm just gonna use it inside my um, A5. You can do it one of two ways. You can either slide, you take that off and then slide the back in the slot of your A5 that way, or, and I like doing this, take a few out and punch them and then you know put them in your ring binder that way. That's what I like doing with them. I got that and then here's my big score I love these these are their sticker books that are super super cheap now I got three of them the uh, a couple of few days ago I don't even remember when but th that's the I got the only three they had and then I found a bunch more yesterday because I went to a different Walmart because I have found that's the clue you gotta travel so far i've been to three different walmarts looking for this stuff so this was the first one i got now this one is kind of thick so it's like 17 almost 1800 stickers so it was six dollars maybe a little over six dollars but it's got beautiful this is my favorite sheet it's my bows my bows are my favorite thing i love these little bows they look like the ones from simply gilded that cost you an arm and a leg but these don't cost an arm and a leg I love those. So I've already got that tore out because I've been using the heck out of it. And then you've got, you know, your little pretty circles. And then all this is different stuff. Remember meeting appointment, important. Hello, note to do today. And then it repeats. So this has uh, where you can put the dates on there yourself. This has the days of the week. Of course, little check signs, little et signs, little hearts. These are super cute. Little notebooks, things so you can stick in and write a little to-do list in your planner. These are super, super pretty. You got make goals and keep them. Live in the moment. Good day. 
find your adventure. I've already used those two, so I don't know what they said. <laughs> Make today amazing. Girl boss. It's so it's so. Like a boss. Work hard and play hard. Hello, hello, hello. Be brave and kind and loyal. Love, love, love. And then dot, dot, dot. Like I said, I've already used four out of here. And then you've got your number and letters and little signs here. Little uh, bots fillers that you can use and you can use these with your happy planner with your um a5 planners whatever you want to use them with that's what i do if i need to make them smaller i cut them if i need to make them bigger i layer them these are your weather ones and these are going to be hard for me to even use because living in oregon you know your weatherman can tell you one thing or weather lady whichever you have but excuse me i'm tired but the weather do something totally opposite so this is really no help to me just little flags love these look how pretty you got i've already used one two of them <laughs> but flowers love those flowers this looks like i've said this before that looks like miss shereen mcginnis's a5 planner that she's got would match that really well got unicorns more little flags that say little different things little like I guess like quote boxes you even got one that says IDK <laughs> my husband hates that <laughs> more little quote boxes that are super cute more little flags that have different sayings I'm gonna have to hurry this up because goodness knows I can't go through all these like this but you get the general idea these really have some cute ones in here and you know look at those those little flags and then you have blank flags and all kinds of stuff get gas reminders I mean, I just love it. I just love it. Like I said, look, definitely under seven, maybe a little over six. Now the ones, I got one more that's a big one like that. <laughs> this one, so it's a large one too. It has 1400 in it. And it has some very large to do things there so that you can really, really write some stuff in there. more little flags and all of them have a color theme to them so that's kind of cool look, look at those they were drawn flags pretty pretties i know people thought i was crazy because i was just finding this stuff going oh, oh 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 my goodness they're like she's getting a little bit too excited bows and flags over this stuff and i was i was getting very excited over it. i mean i've been hunting this stuff down what crazy i would look at this one which you see this one beautiful foil butterflies isn't that pretty i love that so much and look at those oh love it and you can get little flowers so that is that book love that this one is has purples and blues even some grays, some real pretty muted grays. Like it's kind of pastel lavenders and lilacs. You know me, my lavender and lilac. The only thing I haven't been able to find in one, I love these two. Um, and I wish, you know, who knows, they may come up with it if they sell well, which I think they will, is one with little girls in it. I love ones that have little girls. This one has 700, that had 981, this has 726, and all of these, these small ones, are $2.88, just so you know, $2.88, and you get lots of stickers for $2.88, love that, that's that marbling, <gasps> seeing all of this matches all of that, oh, love it so much, so, so much, more foil, so... I'm just in love with this stuff. I just love it. And then this one is primarily blues. So you got weekend stickers. So it's got different shades of blues in it. So that kind of goes with this one, I think. But again, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm doing this because I don't want this video to be an hour. This one, I think, goes with these. So, again, you've got all kinds of washi tape, 
flowers and yes I've already been picking some out of them I was in here playing last night uh, what I call Batman <laughs> things bang wow hello boom awesome <laughs> uh, so uh, you just let's see what's the highlights on this one look at those those are cute they look like they're stuck on with sticky with a uh, washi tape isn't that cute 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 no more big ones cute cute and my cat is got her nail hung on to me oh my gosh I don't know if you guys have a cat that's extremely attached to you but my cat is actually my daughter's cat I have to keep because she can't have it where she lives this cat follows me every step I make and I got two of these two let me show you, because I love them so much the marble little marble dreams again so it goes with that book and I couldn't find the exact washi tape that would match it. But, oh my gosh, this one is just, is like I said, it's got my covers, colors. It's got lavender and lilacs in it. But it also has some blues and some that just have the marbling on there. Almost looks like a galaxy. And you get a good amount of foil in these stickers, too, for the price. You really do. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, I love that. I haven't found one that's a seasonal yet, so who knows though. It's like I said, very new line, so they may put it out. Look at there, love it. So I got two of those, both of those 288, and then this is another 288 one. And it's got mostly neutrals, I noticed. So I think you guys like the neutral colors will like this one best. has and it still has some foil and look at there you get diamonds and these have like a 3d effect so they're pretty cool too so that is that so remember the larger books that come with uh you know that amount like 17 to 1800 they're six dollars and something and then these smaller ones that still come with a good amount that's got 748 in it are two dollars and 88 cents a boom love it love it love it and then so my washi tape i've already showed you the pins i have showed you i also got i have the, a three ring hole puncher for regular stuff and then i also have the ones for my uh a5s and personal planners but this is just a single one and again it was pin plus gear and 88 cents 88 cents and then i picked up a couple of things for my happy planner i got some more note paper and then this is like a little extension pack you can buy because i really i don't use the ones that are already predated i just don't so you know and these were the same price that what you would find them on like you know website hobby lobby or anything like that so that wasn't really a deal i just got them and said i would show them to you but i also got and i've been wanting one of these the pin bags or you can do any whatever you want to in here and put pins in here uh stickers washi tape whatever you want they had these these were right under five dollars four dollars or something but what i like about them especially for the happy planners is that you can do this so it holds your happy planner together as well as being very functional so I really like it. I like that a lot. I don't have one of the Happy Planner, um, you know, carrying bags. I got one of Hobby Lobby's that I thought would work the same, and it does not. It's not near big enough. I mean, it's usable, but it's not. It should be a lot bigger. Okay. That is my haul. I hope you guys like this. I love this stuff, and it's so affordable, you know, compared to the prices of the stuff that you get from the you know name brands um these are just really really super affordable and i am in love with the stickers as well as these the books the books are just fantastic the traveler's notebooks they're great to take along with you do your scripture writing in and you don't have to spend a million dollars I like them. I like them a lot. 
and you'll see the I've talked about before I'm not sure how this is going to hold up to dirt and use and everything but so far it's done fine and I have been using it quite a lot but it's not something that you can you know just clean like you would um, leather or something but it also doesn't cost you a million dollars seven dollars seven dollars you know that's the most you're going to spend on any of these things unless you want 30 pins for $9.98 <laughs> okay ladies I'm going to work on this thing I'll see if this um, uh, if this was able to film correctly I really hope it is I hope it does good I'm just going to edit it a little bit with my phone and and slap it up there and hope you guys enjoy it and like I said if you have any questions comments they're welcome uh please subscribe and hit that like button and also that notification button and let your friends know we're having a planner giveaway at a thousand subs so we need to get those subs so we can give that giveaway i just keep adding stuff to it so it's getting cuter and cuter all the time also remember i have my etsy shop up and running i've got a lot of di different kinds of uh, things in there it's all digital downloads so instant gratification i don't think i have anything in there over two dollars so you're looking at between $1.50 and $2 for the things I have. Um, the name of the shop is Tilted Tierra Design. So it's spelled differently than a regular Tierra is. It's Tilted, T-I-L-T-E-D. I had to think about that. And then Tierra is T-I-E-R-R-A. And then, of course, Design, D-E-S-I-N-G. So just go in there and look for that shop because I don't have... I can't copy it for some reason when I'm uh, filming on my phone. I can do it off my um, iPhone, but I mean my iPhone, my iPad, but it won't let me do it off my phone. So I don't know what I'm doing incorrectly. But anyway, just, you know, if message me and I will try to, uh, I can, if you message me, I can actually put the link into a, a comment from my iPad. So that I can do. But again, it's Tilted Tierra Design and every little bit helps these days believe me my husband's going into the hospital on monday for two days he's going to be in there so please be praying for him he, they're going to uh, start some new medication for his heart and it's something they have to monitor him for for 48 hours so he's going to be there and i'm going to be here an hour and a half away because I can't afford to get a hotel room. We can't afford that right now. So just be praying for him that this medication works. Um, he has a pacemaker and a defibrillator implanted, but it's not stopping his tachycardia. So just, you know, please pray that this works because I have been greatly worried about him. He has a very, very serious heart condition that we just found out about last year. It's kind of taken the sales out of us and definitely between his medical bills and my bills taking the funds out of us so but god is good he knows what's happening before we do i'm trying to chase my cat away yep that's her right there anything she can find to flip over turn over or bump into she goes for it the world's a toy <laughs> okay all right ladies i love you so much thank you for watching hope this was fun and again leave any comments or questions you have below and i will see you hold on a second i gotta get up so i can turn you off properly i will see you again soon bye 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 bye